So here we go. Rico O'Quinn in the red, Peter McGrail in the blue. Simple enough, straight left, right down the pipe to start things off. Barry, what do we need to see here in the opening stanza for you to think McGrail is in the zone? Just to take a breath, he got, a, you know, he got good footwork. He wants to be aggressive. Just take his time a little bit. We'll be on the jab, have a good look at his opponent first of all. And just keep it, just keep on the peripherals of, 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 the, of the combinations here at the minute. He's coming out hot. Yeah, but the, both of them landing hot, actually, because both of them landed solid body shots. O'Quinn threw a right hook to the body, landed cleanly. McGrail throwing straight left to the body. Both of them opened up downstairs. Downstairs feet, goes Quinn. Watch the feet. Stop! Stop. You know, we'll find out pretty quickly if O'Quinn has recovered from that first round knockout to Sal Sanchez. That was a pretty one sided, one round fight. Took two relatively low level fights after that. So this is a big step back up for O'Quinn. Don't hold. Stop! It's just that ability, isn't it, for McGrill? Just to take a little step half a step out just to make O'Quinn miss every now and again and then re-engage very, very quickly. Yeah, that's the beauty when you have so much experience as an amateur. You know, you, you get that foundation down. Everything's from the bottom up and it's brilliant to see. It's uh, like you said, Lomachenko, Usyk, Isk. Oh, good right, connected to the jaw of O'Quinn, who only has one professional defeat at the age of 28. Whoa! Down he goes! Three, four, five! Clean left five, hand, right on the chin six, of O'Quinn. He seems to be okay. Hey, give me your gloves, give me your gloves. Is that a flash knockdown or more damage than maybe we saw? Let's see what kind of finisher McGrail is. You know, Joe McGrail knocked out his opponent in the second round earlier today. Let's see if Peter McGrail can double it up. I think his, his feet were a little bit square there, Phil Quinn. I think he got caught on his heels. I don't think it was a, a, a strong knockdown, but it builds confidence and it, and it makes you panic a little bit as well. And it puts you up on the scorecards big. Another left on the inside. I love this aggression. You gotta like the fact though that O'Quinn is taking his corner's advice though. He's taking the fight to McGrail. Mixed success though. He's trying to punch from too far out. And I understand that because he can't get close. If you can't land with the jab, you're not gonna land with the right hand. So you've got to get your feet close. And that's a double jab. You stab with that front foot, it closes the gap quick. And then you gamble on that right hand. As soon as you say, you hit the chest hard, you stop that movement. And that gives you an opportunity then to possibly work away. Not only that, but if you miss the chest and you hit the, 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 the boxing gloves, you, you keep them holstered. You know, you keep yeah. the guns holstered. They're not going to attack you back. So you can get the combinations going off. Oh, Quinn better be careful not, ref <laughs> not, not, not complaining to the referee. This is a fight. Concentrate on the man in front of you trying to take your head off. Good thing he's got those English manners, huh, Barry? You could have clipped him from behind. <laughs> I, I just got to say, I'm not English, though, because so I... I'm not, I'm not a massive fan, you know, we're Welsh, there's a, yeah. there's a, there's a rivalry there. Those we, UK that, manners, I should say. There's a rivalry there that we never win. <laughs> there's that right hook that O'Quinn was wary about, got clipped with it just now. Yeah, I would say that's uh, McGraw's favorite punch. It's a sweeping right hook. It could be short, it could be sweeping. And anytime a left-hander has a right hook like that, it's, it's bad news for the opponent. What's happened here, though, with McGrail's movement? Stop! O'Quinn know he's, he's missing and he's, made, and he's being made to pay for his mistakes. He's starting to push his punches a little bit now. He's just slowing down a little bit. Just see it there, there's no, there's no, no acceleration in the punches. Just a little, little bit tentative. And that's the worst thing that can happen for him right now. Can Miguel, Miguel can work off that. Yeah, you can see McGrail punches off of instinct, it's reaction. And when it comes to when it comes to O'Quinn, he's thinking too much. You, in this sport, you're not supposed to be thinking. It's just supposed to become natural to shoot it off the hip. Yeah, and McGrail's not giving him time to think, even he, if he was thinking, Sergio. Absolutely, yep. Round four. Chris, is this fight going about the way you thought it might? Look, I think Peter McGrail's just on a different level as a boxer. Uh, he's been a... Oh! As you say that, down goes O'Quinn. Different level as a puncher. That was a straight left hand. So Peter McGrail has been a lot more than just that right hook during this fight tonight. It wasn't just a left hand. He stopped him from moving to his left with a right hook, and then it was a straight right, straight left. 
Just a beautiful combination. Simple. Right hook, straight left by McGrill. And the way McGrill committed with that front foot as well, we slid it right, right close to the tiger. So when he threw that shot, it delivered way past six, six inches past the head. Yeah, there was no one for McGrill for Quinn to escape once he got caught with that right and then hooked straight with the left. It was a beautiful shot. Barry, you're right. We are going to love this guy. So far, so great for Peter McGrail making his United States debut. No, I, I was excited about watching this guy because he's not only, you know, we expect a lot from Olympians, but he's slick. He's a boxer puncher, confident, excellent body puncher, right hook. I mean, he passes the eye test by far. And a body shot. Keep him up for me, Peter. Keep him up for me. And the difference here with these two is... Well, Quinn's not committing to any attacks. He's not, he just has no belief there at the minute. And McGrail is 100% all in every time he throws a shot. He believes he's going to land. He believes he's going to have an effect. And he, and he gets his feet in the right place and delivers it. Is O'Quinn fighting scared, Sergio? No, he's, he's actually fighting shaky because he doesn't know where the punches are coming from. You know, he's not afraid. He wants to land something big. You can see by, 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 by the way he's throwing the shots. But just like when opponents face fighters like Lomachenko and Usyk and Bam Rodriguez, you don't know where their feet are going to be. You don't know what angle they're going to come from, the punches. So they keep you second guessing yourself. A bit of success here for O'Quinn. Seems like he does better when he's on the front foot. Look at that beautiful combination by McGrail there. Wow. A good shot there. O'Quinn there, nice little shot right hand. Oh, boy. O'Quinn, oh, and he's winding him up. This is a showman right here by Peter McCrell. He's having fun in there. McCrell's playing chess, O'Quinn's playing checkers. High speed chess. Stop! Hey, but give O'Quinn some credit, man. He hasn't he hasn't laid down. He's given it all he has. He's just just doesn't seem to be on the same level. You're right there. So these are these are the sort of fights you can feel sorry for yourself very, very quickly. And he's not, he's, he's, he's trying to trying to land the shots, he's trying to push forward, but just not enough convic uh, conviction in his work. Sergio, 19 landed for O'Quinn compared to 80 for McGrail. 49% of McGrail's punches are being landed. That's just a, that right there says it all. Chris, I know there's a certain level of competition that's in the ring with McGrail right now, but this guy looks like a world champion already. Oh, right hand now. Always punching and dipping McGrill. His head never in the right, in the same spot. It's hard to counter a fighter like that. Oh, man. Not only because of the angles and the position, and it's like, you're not going to be in front of him, so where are you going to punch? And the worst thing is, he doesn't give you a second rest. He's always on you. His presence is always in front of you. And that is draining. It really is. So. Barry, you compared McGrill to a magician, right? Like, now you see me, now you don't. That's exactly what Quinn has in front of him. He's absolutely fantastic, and his judgment of distance is brilliant. He always knows where he is. He's making you miss by an inch, and then, and then bringing that front foot forward so he punches six inches through the target. Oh! 